so I just filmed uh, a video on a few of the new MAC lipsticks that I purchased from MAC's new Retro Matte Collection, where it is an entire line of new matte shades that they came out with. And I only picked up three, and I will link that video down below so that you can see the ones that I picked up and the swatches and all that good stuff. Uh, but I thought I would do a follow-up video on how to rock a matte lip, because matte lipsticks, as awesome as they are, can really be um, complicated. So they're great because you can throw it on, walk out the door and look glamorous. I feel like they never go out of style. They come in a variety of shades and colors. They can accentuate your skin tone. You can throw it on with winged liner. You can throw it on with a pair of falsies and be out the door and look like you've spent so much time on your face because really the center of attention is the bold, amazing, beautiful matte lipstick that you're wearing. And so I love it for that reason because it's very little effort to look glamorous. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it during the night, um, you can dress it up, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can do so many things with it. It never goes out of style. I feel like it's always fashionable, it's always glamorous, and that's why I love it. But they're not always the easiest to work with. So sometimes um, if you have chapped lip, chapped lips, cracked lips, dry lips, flaky lips, it can really accentuate that and you know it can be very unforgiving to flaws that you may be experiencing. So I figured I would offer up six of my top tips on how to rock a matte lip. So let's jump right in. So the first tip is to exfoliate your lips. Like I said, you know, if you have cracked lips, dry lips, chapped lips, whatever, it can really accentuate all those flakes and all those um, little crevices on your lips. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're exfoliating your lips. My favorite way to do it is to just take um, coconut oil or my Alba's Unpetroleum, which I don't have in here with me, but I have a video on it and I'll link down below. But I take Alba's Unpetroleum or just plain old coconut oil and slather it onto my lips and then take a warm, wet washcloth and exfoliate my lips that way. You can also use a toothbrush, like after you're done brushing your teeth, just take the wet toothbrush and just glide it over your lips a little bit to remove any flakiness or any dryness that's coming off. Some people can be allergic to different types of lip products, so just be aware of that because that can actually cause, you know, more chapness or more dryness or an appearance of dryness. So just be careful with your lip products that you're using because I know that there are some products that I use that um, cause some dryness on my lips, FYI. So make sure that you are sloughing all the dead skin off of your lips before you put the matte lipstick on because you don't want to accentuate all of the dry spots. Secondly, after you've exfoliated, you want to make sure that you're moisturizing your lips. And you can moisturize with whatever you want, whatever lip balm works for you. Um, I prefer to do my deep, deep moisturizing at night when I'm sleeping, so I'll put on a lip salve or a really thick like shea butter type of lip uh, chapstick or lip balm onto my lips when I'm going to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, um, my lips are nice and plump and hydrated after I've done the exfoliation process and everything. But I also will put on a lip balm before I apply the matte lipstick because matte lipsticks can be extra drying. They're certainly not hydrating. The ingredients in them, it actually has more beeswax than it does like oils and stuff like that. So that produces the shade of matte, that produces less shine. So even though it produces less shine, it looks amazing, um, it can certainly suck the moisture out of your lips. So make sure that you're hydrating your lips um, with moisturizer before you apply your matte lipstick. The third step is to use a lip liner. And why do you have to use a lip liner? Um, using a lip liner will prevent your lipstick from feathering out. Like, there's nothing more embarrassing or maybe just annoying than like being out and about with people and talking to them and then looking in the mirror, like going to the bathroom, looking in the mirror, and then seeing that like lipstick has smeared to the left or smeared to the right on your face. Um, and no one told you. And that's, you know, a cause. And that can be caused from just the feathering out of lipstick. And I feel like some people are more prone to feathering than others. Um, I definitely don't feel like it's a huge problem, but I always do wear a lip liner with um, deep, bolder colors because I want to make sure that I contain the lipstick on my lips and not on my face. So a lip liner will certainly help um, create a barrier around your lips so that your lipstick is not smearing or feathering out. Just make sure that you are lining your actual lip and not like the like super duper outside of your lip like some people can line like outwardly don't do that because when your lipstick fades and you're just gonna have like this line and it's gonna look really really funky so try and stay as close to your natural lip line as possible and then I also will always take the lip liner and feather it in just a little bit um, 
because I find that my lipstick stays on longer when I do that. So yeah, make sure that you're using a lip liner, preferably a lip liner that is the same color as your lipstick or a lip liner that is a slightly darker or flesh toned. And I have a video on three lip liners that I think every woman should wear that I will also link so that you can actually see it because I just, I think that every woman needs to have like these three types of lip liners because they're just so versatile and beneficial um, depending on what you have in your collection. So yeah. Okay, tip number four. Let's say you've never used a matte lipstick before. This bright, bold, deep shade is a little intimidating to you um, and you're afraid to just apply it straight from the bullet. Don't worry um, if this, going like this, is a little bit too much for you because you can also use a finger and dab it onto your lips to create more of a lip stain and that can um, sort of ease you into trying it full on straight from the bullet or you can use it with a lip brush, especially if you have um, thinner lips, sometimes applying it from the bullet can get a little messy because uh, the, the actual lipstick itself might smear and might be too big for your lips. And so the best thing you can do is to just take a lip brush. They're super inexpensive. You can get one from Target, um, from CVS, from Walgreens. Just get a lip brush and use the lip brush to paint it onto your lips. Now the thing is, if you're using a lip brush, um, you're going to have to, uh, it might take a little bit longer because you're doing coat after coat after coat to get the opacity that you're looking for. So that is tip number four. Use a lip brush or your finger if you're not comfortable applying it straight from the bullet. Tip number five is to use concealer to fix any mistakes along the outline of your lips. And I'm showing you exactly what I was doing when I did this, and I usually do this when I have a little bit more time. I don't do it every single time I'm wearing a matte lip, but if I have a little more time, or if I wanna do something extra special, like if it's for a night out or something, then I will take a my concealer, one that's the same color as my skin tone, and a concealing brush, and basically I just outline my lips like so and then blend it out as you can see in the video that I'm sh that I'm superimposing um, to make sure that the outline of my lips is crisp and clean and it really does help to define your lips and to sort of draw all the attention here so that's what I did this time and you just blend it out with a sponge or blend it out with your finger whatever's easier for you but it definitely helps to define and it also helps uh, prevent that feathering that I talked about a little bit earlier too. So you can use lip liner and the concealer technique to prevent your lipstick from feathering and keeping all of your lipstick on your lips and not your face. And lastly, this is not cute. I was watching a television show, I was watching So You Think You Can Dance, and one of the dancers, after she finished dancing, bless her heart, she had lipstick all of her teeth, and I was like, why didn't somebody tell her to, you know, blot or take a finger or take a tissue or something, and you wanna remove the lipstick from the inner part of your lip. So a lot of people do this method to get the lipstick off. I like to actually do it like this, because I feel like I get like my entire lip, like the whole width of my lip when I do it that way. Or you can certainly take a tissue or a paper towel like this and just, um, you know, remove it from the inside. I don't have very much on the inside of my lip, so it's not showing, but it definitely helps to get the inner rim of your lip clear and lipstick free so that it's not getting onto your teeth because that is so embarrassing to have lipstick on your teeth out in public. So yeah, so those are my six tips on how to master the matte lipstick trend um, for fall and winter. I hope that that was helpful for any of you beginners out there who've never worn a matte lipstick or a little bit afraid. Um, perhaps that helped you a little bit and perhaps it's going to spur you on to try new things in the beauty world. At least that's my hope. Um, so I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, don't be alarmed if you see me wearing this look a lot because wind liner and matte lipstick is like my favorite go-to look. It's super easy. It takes less than five minutes to get it done. Um, and you look put together. I can do it in my car, like when I park my car before I go into work in the morning. Just take my eyeliner, do a quick cat eye, and then apply some matte lipstick, and then take some powder and make sure my face isn't shiny, and then I'm done and out the door. So that's why I love it. So don't be alarmed if this is what you're seeing a lot of uh, in the next couple of seasons. If there are any fall trends that you guys are loving right now, make sure you comment down below. I am definitely open to trying and looking for new things. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Looks like this. Um, it's, again, what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So it's um, like a magenta type color, but you can certainly deepen it up. I have a, um,